How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here today and today's video is going to be a good one I hope. It's going to be a little bit long but I'm really trying to cover specifically and teach you guys how to update your own firmware on Nexus devices and actually really any device with an unlocked bootloader the same principles are going to apply. So hopefully once you watch this video and you can digest and ingest this information you will be empowered to flash official stock firmware to your device without any scripts, any utilities, any tools, and really learn a lot from it. That's my goal. I hope this is what happens. So let's go do this. So let me show you how to update your Nexus device. It's very simple. We're gonna walk through some pretty in-depth skills here. So please try to follow along as best as you can. And once you learn these skills, basically you're going to be able to update any of your Nexus devices um, very easily. And actually a lot of Motorola and other carriers as well because they basically have the same process. Okay, so to do this, first thing you want to do is go into your settings of your device. Scroll to about uh, phone or tablet. I see here I have a Nexus 6. You can see I'm on Android 5.1. Very important information. And the last thing that's very important is to notice what build number you're on. Right now I am on the uh, LMY47D and I'm going to update to 47E. Alright, just so you understand where I'm coming from, what I'm working with. This is an unlocked device. You will need to have an unlocked bootloader to do these kind of uh, commands. Along with that, um, obviously the only reason you're going to ever need to update in this manner is if you've hacked your device. If it's not hacked, if it's not, you know, customize just use the OTA update that comes out when it gets pushed to your device if you want to update earlier or so on you have root access and OTA updates will fail this is what you're going to use okay we've got our device right here it's chilling let's go to the computer and let me walk you through some steps and decipher what we've got here with the firmware packages from Google alright guys here is the latest update right here this is uh, factory images for Nexuses. This is Google's official uh, web page. And if you ever want to get any of the latest images for your Nexus devices, right here I've got the Shamu Nexus 6, which is what we're going to be talking about today. And this brand new Android 5.1 update, which is 47E. That's what we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to flash your device. Right now, my, my Nexus 6 is rooted. Um, if I waited for an OTA update, it's basically going to fail on me. All right. So I've gone ahead and I downloaded this file. And you can see if you have other Nexus devices, you know, you can download their firmware right here easily, any firmware you're looking for, okay? So what I'd recommend doing is actually downloading two files. You wanna download the previous version that you were on, and you wanna download the new version that you need to be on, okay? Hopefully you're following me. Download both of them. You can see I actually have downloaded both of them right here. These are the two files. And open up whatever you use to extract your images. This is what I use. And you know, go ahead and extract them. All right. Once they're extracted, basically you guys are going to be left with this right here. There's the 47E and here's the 47D. Okay. Everybody should be tracking with me hopefully still. Now, you can open up these files and we can actually look at the differences in them. So I'm gonna actually open up both of them here, if I can. Should have opened both, let's see here. There we go. And we'll just kinda compare the differences in these files. So, first thing you're gonna notice right here is the bootloader image. So this is the bootloader on the device, okay? You can see that the two bootloaders are exactly the same numbers, so they are the exact same image. So to update, there's really no need to flash a new bootloader. Okay, it's the same file. Why update it? Why flash it again? There's absolutely no need to do it. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is kind of walk you guys through the firmware so you understand it. All right. Now you have this is a script, another script, and another script. Pretty much have nothing to do with the firmware. They have to do with how to flash the firmware, and we'll go over them. Here is the actual firmware. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and you can see right here I've got it all. And I'm gonna say extract and I'm gonna call this images. And then this is 7-zip by the way, it's my favorite extracting program. 
or packaging program and we're going to go ahead and extract these images and we're going to keep walking you through and comparing images so that you understand basically what we're doing here. All right, I'm going to let that one extract. While that one's extracting, I'm going to go ahead and do the same with this one. Here's the images for the new build. And we'll open it up. And again, extract. We'll call it images. And we'll hit OK. And we'll let both of those extract. Shouldn't take too long. They're both working, looks like. And basically, let me walk while we're while we're waiting on those because they can they can keep going here. We'll uh, we'll look back over here. So we've talked about the bootloader; it's matching. No reason to update it. You can see this has got radios and the other radios, the newer radios, right? So these are the new radios. These are the old radios. You can see that they have a different number. So the radio images are updated. That's what works with your Wi-Fi, with your cell signal. These are the files that do that. So that's a file we are going to want to update, okay? All right, let's see if these images are finished finally. Looks like they're almost there. 95, 96, they should be done any second here. Let me close this one out. And they're done. Okay, so now let's open up those files. All right, so these are the images. So you have your boot image, your cache, image, your recovery image, your system image, and your user data image. All right. If we're updating the cache image and the user data image on both of these don't need to be updated. Okay. If you're coming to maybe a new Android version, you might want to do that. But since we're still staying on Android 5.1 and it's just a new build, there's really no reason to update those. They're pretty much the exact same images from the previous Android version. Um, here, this is the Android text information, and I'll go ahead and open up this for you. Basically, this is just a thing that's going to check your device. So, do you have a Shamu or a Nexus 6? Um, do you have the proper bootloader? And do you have the proper baseband version? Okay, we're going to kind of ignore that, but that's the information that is stored in that text. So, basically, to update this new version, we are going to mess with these three files. It's pretty much what it is. Although we want not the D ones, we want the E ones. So it'd be these three. And I'm assuming most of you guys have Twerp Recovery already on your device. That's how you probably got root access. So do you really want a flash stock recovery? Probably not. So now we're only messing with these two files. Two files is all we're actually going to flash to this device, plus the radios on the other side. So. Because we're using Moto E, or I'm sorry, not Moto E, um, 47E, we're going to pull that file and that file. We're going to copy those and just throw them over here, just so they're all in one place. All right, there we go, there we go. So now the three files we're going to flash are these three files. Pretty simple, right? If we flash these three files, you're going to get an updated boot image, which is basically your kernel. You're going to get new radios and you're going to get a new system image. None of that messes with data or any of your applications on your device except for your system applications and those just get updated. It doesn't even mess with any of the passwords or any of that kind of stuff, which is really cool. So that's what we're going to end up doing here to update our Nexus 6, flash these three files. So you kind of understand the breakdown of this. Hopefully you're following with me. Um, so for Windows, this is your flash all bat. And it's the batch file that allows you to flash uh, the firmware. But this flashes everything and wipes your device and resets it and everything. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you a little breakdown of this so you understand it. And the base, basically the easiest way to break this down is to go in here and hit rename and change the file extension from a batch file to a text file because it basically is just a text. So that's uh, TXT. Go ahead and hit yes. And your flash all txt is right here. You can now open it. And voila, this is the script that's going to run if you were to flat use that flash all. All right. And let me see if I can kind of walk you through an understanding of that script. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to find your fastboot folder fo or file, fastboot exe, and it's going to flash bootloader. But we don't need to. That's why we're not using this script. It's going to reboot your bootloader, then it's going to flash the radios, which we are actually going to use this code, 
right there. We're actually going to use that. And then it's going to reboot the bootloader again. Then it's going to flash the update file and wipe and do all the flash of the whole firmware. Okay? We don't want to do all that. All we want is this one. So I'm actually going to copy this one right here. Copy. There we go. Because we're going to need that to flash the newest radios. I'm going to close this back out. All right. So from here, we know what we're going to be doing. We know what we're flashing. We're flashing our boot, our re radios, and our system. Boot radio systems, these three files. So we're going to go to our Android SDK. And let me move this over here so I can get it later. So Android SDK, there it is. Shabam. Um, if you don't know what the Android SDK is, it's basically Android's development tools for, from Google. And what you really need are these four files. ADB, EXE, and Fastboot EXE. Those are the files you're going to need to do this. This is pretty simple. Most people have seen these files before. If you don't have them, I'll link you to them in the video description down below. From here, let's go ahead and plug in my device and make sure ADB is turned on, okay? All right, here we go. Go ahead and connect your device. And mine, yes, has a cool animation with my little Android uh, or Nexus guy there. Or what am I saying? Sajimod guy there. But uh, basically, you can see up here in the top, that uh, USB debugging is connected, okay? That's what you're making sure is working. All right, here we go. We're gonna hold shift, right click, open command window here. And this is gonna open a command window in our Android SDK so we can run our commands. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is type in ADB devices, if I can type, type correct, correctly, and hit enter. And if our drivers are functioning and everything's working correctly, we're going to come back with a number and it say devices, okay? Simple. That means our drivers are functioning. It means ADB is functioning. We have permission. Everything's good to go. All right. We're going to type in ADB reboot boot loader. And you're going to see your device go ahead and reboot into bootloader mode. And then we're going to type in fast boot devices. And again, you should come back with the same number and say fastboot. Now we're in fastboot and we can start flashing this firmware. Okay? From here, very simple. We're going to go ahead and paste our copied fastboot flash radios. Although my radios are not technically in this folder, so I can't actually use that whole thing. So what we're going to do is go back to where it says fastboot flash radios. And then we're going to take the radio we want to flash, which is this one right here, and click it and just drag it right into the command window and then hit enter and this should go ahead and send over the brand new radios to the Nexus device there we go and it is done and then the best thing to do from here is go fast boot um, actually I'll show you the command here we'll copy it out of here just because it's fun this command right here Fast boot, reboot bootloader, copy, close that back down, we'll paste it in, whoops, I don't want to go at all that, paste it in here, paste, and hit enter, and your device is just going to reboot the bootloader, it'll come right back to the bootloader screen, and we can do our next command. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and flash the boot image, which is fast boot, boot, oh, sorry, not boot, flash, Man, I'm having a terrible time typing. Boot. So fast boot, flash boot. And then we grab the boot image and we drag it in. And we hit enter. And boot is done. Now, here's a trick. Instead of pasting in that uh, fast boot reboot, bootloader, hit uh, on your keyboard, hit the up arrow twice. And it's going to go back. It can cycle through all your commands you've given it. There's fast boot reboot bootloader. So we'll just hit that one. Again, reboot the bootloader. And then we'll move on to our next command, which is fast boot flash system. And fast boot flash system. And then we're going to take our system image and we'll bring it up there. And we'll hit enter. And this system image is going to take a while to flash. It's a um, pretty good size file. So you're going to want to give it plenty of time to do that. So I'm going to kind of let this thing flash. I'll come right back to it um, as soon as it finishes. So we can wrap this up. Basically at this point though, 
once this thing flashes the new system image, you've fully upgraded your device. Um, you've kept Torp Recovery, so if you want to get root access back, it's very, very simple. Boot into Torp Recovery like you normally would, flash the Super Sue Zip, and you'll have root access again, and you'll become 100% updated with root access. Okay? This is the manual way of updating your Nexus devices or any device really with an unlocked bootloader as long as it has fast boot protocol for its interface in the bootloader mode. Um, so very, very cool. I'm gonna see here it is. Okay, so this does do sending parse system. So basically what it does is it breaks down the system image into little chunks and sends and writes these little chunks. So it might do this about six, seven times before it finishes. So just be patient, it will take some time. All right, our command prompt has returned, and we can go ahead and reboot the device. So we'll do fast boot, reboot, and shabam. We are done on the computer. You just flashed your radios by deciphering what you needed, if you even needed to flash your radios. You just flashed your boot image and your system, and you are fully updated to 47e on the nexus 6 again it's the same principle as breaking down what the new files are versus the old files and finding out what you actually need to flash very very nice so this thing's booting up and it looks like it booted up very very quickly let me go ahead and put my pattern in here all right we're going to wrap up on the computer and just let this thing finish booting so it is going to go through and android is upgrading because we flash the new system image. So be patient, this is gonna take a long time, I think. Normally this upgrade process takes quite a while. Oh yeah, she updated. Took a long time, but there it is. So let's go ahead and boop, check out our about phone here. Shabam. And a build number, there it is, there it is. 47E. So there you go, that is how to manually update your firmware on your Nexus device with an unlocked bootloader. Pretty simple. Really, what's neat about this, guys, and why I made this video is that once you understand how the images and the partitions basically function and the commands you need to flash them, it's really, really easy. Really easy, you don't have to wait for some developer to come up with a custom ROM, you don't have to wait for um, somebody to come out with a utility that does it. I mean, I'm going to mention here Nexus Root Toolkit just because it's an awesome utility and the developer supports it amazingly and it's great. But you know what? Once you have that freedom of knowing how to do this on your own and the commands needed to do it, it's just so much better. It really is. So I hope you guys like this little more in-depth video. I hope it wasn't too long. I know it was a long video but um, I just trying to cover everything and be as thorough as possible to really teach you guys how to do this. Um, this could be about it for me today. I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more videos on the Nexus 6, Nexus 9, Nexus everything, along with all the other devices. I cover Motorola and all the goodies, Samsung. We got new devices coming out, HTC and everything. So really, really pumped about all those. We'll have videos covering them all and uh, about it for me. So we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.